When an industry leader sees the writing on the wall, they have to figure out their next position that they need to stake out. And with this story, it looks like Dish Network is taking a page out of AT&T's book. Ladies and gentlemen, this and foes, welcome to the Culture Casino. Big companies pivot all the time. They have to in a market economy just to stay competitive. So let's talk about Dish Network. As a satellite provider, their business stayed focused on the delivery side of home entertainment. It had advantages over cable in its pricing of various packages, either not offered by a cable or channels that are just simply weren't provided by the cable system. As time passed, more entertainment was being streamed as on-demand became a more viable option for consumers and their busy schedules. DISH and other satellite providers adopted and adapted technologies that allowed them to add streaming services or on-demand options and various types of recording services. Ultimately, the push from consumers became an a la carte that cable, satellite providers, and similar companies just could not make happen because of their carriage deals with the different programming providers. An interesting side note, a substantial portion of your cable and satellite bill is paying for services you don't even receive. The ESPN carriage deal, for example, is often paid for by people in the regular tiers who don't actually subscribe to and pay for that channel or channels. Cable and satellite subscribers have been leaving for a few years now, well, several years now, in favor of streaming services that provide the same content actually in that a la carte fashion. And with that, satellite and cable providers have looked for alternate businesses to acquire to complement their delivery services. Enter the telecommunications market. Dish Network has elected to acquire Boost Mobile as part of their corporate assets. Outside of diversification, their primary reason to buy Boost is to acquire a 5G network and infrastructure that comes along with it. The timing was also perfect as the merger between Sprint and T-Mobile required that Boost Mobile be spun off and sold to another interested party. It also increases the stability and the availability of premium 5G services on mobile networks between the top four providers now. DISH is guaranteed in this deal the utilization for seven years of the infrastructure on T-Mobile's network as part of that purchase agreement while it continues to physically build out its own network. It also shores up DISH's earnings as it adds over 9 million Boost Mobile customers. Charlie Ergen, the founder of DISH, states, it positions us well as we continue to build out the first virtualized standalone 5G network in America. DISH currently has over 11 million pay TV subscribers between the DISH network and its streaming service, Sling TV. It also spent the last 10 years and about $20 billion buying up wireless spectrum. This will allow them to build out an entirely new 5G network from the ground up, utilizing new tech and industrial applications that other providers will have difficulty in doing. In the end, the future of content delivery and phone service will further blend together with this deal cemented and compete almost directly with the established brand AT&T. So with that update on industry news, I'd like to take the time to make a shout out to my fellow content creators, Kai MFS, the Atlantean, the Mirosphere Origins, all of which who work very hard to make great content for you. And of course, a special shout out to my co-conspirator, Wes Moody at the Wes Moody Webcast. Be sure to check them all out as well as all of the other independent creators here on the YouTube platform. Of course, I'd like to tell you to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, and until next time, Bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts.
Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.